am standing in front of the all-wheel drive four-wheeler, and this is our very first chance to shake it down, and I will tell you what, the ECU Masters Dash makes that process so easy. I want to show you guys a little bit about what I'm using it for. I love the loud cars. Um, I want, I want to show you guys what I, what I use it for and what it's capable of doing. And it, it's honestly capable of doing way more than I have it currently doing, but all the track timing and predictive stuff, oh, just check this out. So first of all, it's brilliantly bright. Like it's just such a clean setup. Like just something that's very important to me is that not only is it nice at night, but during the day, clean. Now I have it using, they actually have a, a little light sensor so you can have low light, high light, so it's not blinding you at night. Um, and I, first thing I, I used was their little tire temp sensor. Now I only have the rears working because I got to do machine some stuff in the front, but it's wild. While I'm out on the track, I can see the tires, all 16 points of temperature from little sensors right in here telling me what's going on all across the tires. So I can see that my tires are heating up more in the middle, so maybe I need to drop pressure. That's the data that I can, I can use. And so I have that up here. And so it's neat because I do have a Haltech ECU, but I get all of the CAN data from that. So I have pressures, I have the RPM working how I want it, like getting it, like I can, I can make it so that way it's, it's not necessarily linear. So I have more focus on the, the part of the RPM band that I'm in when I'm racing. And so that, you know, it stretches that more, but then all their bar graphs, so easy to set up. And, and like, I'm a minimalist type of guy, but they have full, complete graphics, you know, RPM, tax, all that sort of stuff. But I just love the minimal stuff. But like, even as simple as the, the gear change. Like, I love seeing those race cars in, in like Gymkhana videos where you see the huge number of what gear you're in. And you can do that on this dash. Like that simple stuff is, is or at least what looks simple on this dash is simple because of what they've done with it. And so my speed, my battery voltage, all those things that like, I can even have conditions where the bar is red until it's in the correct range and then it's green. And so I can look very quickly. I don't have to read the dash. I can just use the dash to go, okay, cars in operating temperature. I've got error codes that if the oil pressure drops, of course the computer will also do stuff, but the dash, boom, I know I can make decisions with this car because this is such a custom car. That information, getting that information to my eyes is so critical and it's neat because I even have like the whole all-wheel drive system on there so I have I, it's like a video game this dash truly is like Forza or Gran Turismo or a set of Corsa where I can see the car like unfair it's like it's like cheating so uh, that makes it very really easy to tune the car better so I, I can't speak enough about the dash and under the under the dash I also have their power module their the auto sport based power module and I also have the buttons hidden down here and so you can see all the predictive mapping and stuff like that. But then also I can see how much current I'm using on each of my, my different circuits. And so I have my whole ignition system going through there and it, it all works so well. But the data, there's raw data, like I can have simple race data. It's, it's harder to make a car look simple, but like watch this, when I turn on the running lights, got a simple light telling me, hey, the running lights are on. So I turn that off, turn the headlight pop-ups down. So I know if I'm, you know, sitting in the car's draining battery, I know what to do. So it, boop, boop. And then on top of that, you can see that the, the PMU or the power unit is telling me, okay, look at, I'm currently using 0.2 amps to run my LEDs. And then when I do this, it was using about 11 amps to turn up the pop-ups. It's, it's just all that data there. Now, even turn signals, this is all done in the ECU master system. All the pulsing is done inside of it. And so then all of that, all right in one system.